What is up, man? 25 Gamers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to be introducing a new offensive scheme for you guys. I'm going to try to get a couple of extra videos out in the next couple days to illustrate some defense and offense because I've been doing predominantly offense the last couple weeks. Uh, but today's video is out of the Carolina playbook. We're going to be in the pistol uh, week formation, and the play we're going to be breaking down today is the triple option, in my opinion. It's the best read option uh, combination of read option and uh, just regular standard option in the game because it, pr it provides a three-headed rushing attack uh, literally in one play. So uh, for defense, we're just going to come out in like a standard run defense. A lot of guys are using the 3-4 solid trio sky zone. And uh, we're going to show you how to run this play. So first and foremost, um, a couple of things that you might consider is if your opponent's a guy that likes to base align his coverage, and you can tell that as you just saw that cornerback on the uh, far right of the screen, he'll pinch in if they base align. If they don't base align, he'll be outside. See how those corners pinch in. What you want to do if they are base aligning is um, you want to go ahead and run it uh, stock because of the fact that you have the numbers advantage um, on the right side if they're if they're base aligning. Okay, so you want to playmaker it. Um, you want to mainly focus on giving the ball to Frank Gore uh, because of the triple option. You're not allowed to playmaker it, which I forgot. Um, but anyway. And so what you're going to do with this, uh, real quick, let's just break down the run in general, um, is you're going to read, uh, there's two read defenders. You see that we have the linebacker, and let's go ahead and just press it up just to see what a standard defense will look like. So typically you're going to be reading that far outside linebacker or the defensive end in a 4-3. All right, so we're just going to read. If he stands up, I'm going to give the ball to Frank Gore. If he doesn't stand up, I'm going to keep him with Colin Kaepernick. It's just a standard triple, just a standard read option read. Here he stands up, so I'm going to give it to Frank Gore. And you see the power uh, in this run, and the ability to run up the middle and to the outside in the same exact play. All right, and then now I want to show you an example of when they go with the running back um, and leave the quarterback open. So here he's going to go with the running back, and I'm going to keep with Colin Kaepernick. That you see, then you see the uh, next phase of this run uh, in the situation where the cornerback now, according to my pre-snap read, which is telling me that I'm reading the outside linebacker, and then when I, if I need to pitch the ball, I'm going to read the uh, the cornerback. So, as you saw on that play, the cornerback just dotted out the running back. So, therefore, I'm just going to keep with the quarterback. I'm going to show it to you again. And you see how he just takes the, uh, takes the running back, and I can easily just keep with Colin Kaepernick. That's the beauty of this play because it will provide you two reads. Um, it's a little bit harder to run than a standard option. But it's worth more in the long run because you can attack the defense in more areas. And there you see what happens um, when you just start just try to keep with the quarterback every time. If they play the quarterback, um, you're going to be screwed. So that's why you got to get the ball off the gore. All right, so that's the triple option play. And then real quick, I want to give you one other option uh, as your main run just because the triple option some people may have trouble with. So I want to give you another running play that's really effective um, from this formation in combination with the triple option. Um, and so that play is just a standard read option. The reason we like the read option out of the week is because we are balanced. We can run it to either side, um, un unlike the triple option. So here you see my read defender is that cornerback. He's going to stand up here, so I'm going to give the ball to Michael James. And I think a team that you want to use this scheme with is a team with two good running backs. So, you know, the Niners, even the Seahawks, um, the Eagles, all sorts of teams that you can use here. Again, they stand up, so I'm just going to give the ball to Michael James. And then real quick, let me show you one example when they don't stand up if they crash down on the uh, on the running back. All right, so here they crash down, and that's the beauty of the trio sky zone, though, because it's a, kind of built to stop the read option. That's why I recommend the triple option, because the trio sky zone can't stop it. But as you'll see, if they don't stand up and they crash down on the running back, I'm kind of screwed to run it to the right just based on the play that the defense is calling. Uh, in that it's a, it's using the scrape technique. Sometimes I'll break a big run, but other times I'll get blown up in the backfield. All right, and then real quick, I want to show you the option you have to flip it and run it to the right. So remember, we talked a couple videos back about flipping an option. You have to playmaker it to the side. Um, no, I guess you can't flip it either. That's weird. Huh. All right, well, I guess you can't flip the play. Um, what you could do, though, is I think you can motion gore. So if you do this, and then you just flip the play, then you can run it like that. And it's not that big of a transition. Um, and it's the same kind of in general read. But 
unfortunately, with the weak formation, you can't uh, you can't just playmaker your runs. I guess uh, probably because the uh, because of the fullback Frank Gore here. Another thing you can do with this is motion Frank Gore out, get an extra blocker, you can do all sorts of stuff. But I just wanted to kind of disclaim that those two runs are probably the best runs you're going to find in this. And then tomorrow we're going to talk about a power run that's going to uh, be very good for you. And then we're going to show you some passing later on in the week. So thanks for your time. Be sure to check out um, another scheme I did. I'll have a link in the annotation. I just got done finishing up the pistol trips. In my opinion, pistol trips is one of the easiest to learn, pick up, and play uh, schemes that I put out lately. So. Uh, be on the lookout for more defensive videos as well as the rest of this offense. Thanks for your time today, guys. We'll see you later.